What's up everybody, D-Man back, welcome to a brand new video, and today we're going to be doing another Godzilla news and update slash uh, off-brand Godzilla Explained. Today's video will be all about everyone's favorite giant bird, <coughs> Rodan. <coughs> Alright, so jumping into this, we're going to structure this the same way we did last one with the Mothra stuff. Um, we're going to break down everything in the new Monarch website regarding Rodan. Starting off, Monarch Outpost 56 is the house of Rodan. If you're wondering why it's Monarch Outpost 56, that's because Rodan, the original movie, came out in 1956. <coughs> Rodan is in Isla de Mona, Mexico currently inside of a volcano. It's called the quote Devil's Nest. His species name is Titanus Rodanus. No, it's just Titanus Rodan. Like I said, he's sleeping in a volcano, uh, but there is no volcano on um, the real Isla de Mona in real life. The reason he's living in a volcano is because in the original Rodan, he lived under a volcano and he eventually died to a volcano. See these prehistoric beasts emerge from the bowels of the earth after 200 million years. And that was the same volcano that went on to revive Rodan in 1964's Ghidra the Three-Headed Monster. Uh, Rodan's body type, or I don't remember what they had it listed as, is biovolcanic. It's not a real thing, it's just some pseudoscience for you. And his height and, and wingspan are a bit weird to me. His height is 154 feet. And his wingspan is 871 feet. He's very disproportional. Pretty small with massive wings. He's actually the smallest kaiju in the MonsterVerse. Um, and not only that, but he's the shortest Rodan ever, and yet he has the longest wings of any Rodan ever. Uh, Showa Rodan was uh, 164 feet with a wingspan of 394 feet. Paisei Rodan was 230 feet with a wingspan of 492 feet feet. Uh, Millennium Rodan was 328 feet tall with a wingspan of 656 feet wide. Um, so this Rodan is he's smaller than the, the than the Showa Rodan, but his wings are larger than the Millennium Rodan. Um, I don't know why they did that. I, I mean, I understand making him very destructive and you want those huge wings to do that, but I don't know why they made him so small. Um, Rodan is considered a destroyer with worldwide destruction capabilities. Um, I'm, I'm sure they're just getting that information based off the fact that his wings are so big and also the, uh, the reports they got from ancient civilizations that said he's bad news. Um, Rodan is considered a demon born of fire. And his description is, quote, A volcanic internal combustion system of magma flows through a body covered in rock-like scales that act as geothermic armor. So, if you're wondering what all that means, basically, he doesn't have blood, or based off the way this is worded, it doesn't sound like he has blood. He has liquid magma that flows through his body, and instead of having feathers, no feathers, he's just got armor-plated um, wings and, and his body's armor plated, uh, geothermic armor, so basically it's rock-like armor. Um, and then they say Rodan is king of the, so the skies, just like how Kong is king of the prime apes. I really love the Kong reference. I, I, I appreciate how they're tying him back into this, making sure he stays relevant. They also say that Rodan has the skeletal structure of a pterodon, meaning that he will hopefully look something like a pterodon, you know, how he's supposed to look, the way he looked in Kong Skull Island, but it seems they're moving a little bit away from that, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And then after hearing all this, with the magma in his blood especially, uh, it would make sense if Rodan breathes fire in this series. As my source suggested to us a weeks ago when I made that video talking about our first leaked kaiju details, um, the statement I got was that Rodan is, quote, basically just a dragon, end quote. Meaning, uh, he was, I, I took it as he probably doesn't breathe fire, right? This is not a Godzilla fan who gave me this quote, so probably doesn't breathe fire, um, just kind of looks like a dragon. Nope, 
it, it seems like he breathes fire. He's going to just be a dragon. Uh, that'll be interesting to see now that we have Ghidorah, a literal space dragon in this series. But this could be just like Fire Rodan. This also kind of confirms the theories that were floating around back in 2017 when Kong Skull Island came out that the two lines in front of Rodan's mouth during the Kong Skull Island post credit scene might be him breathing fire on people. We also got the word that Monarch can't view Rodan's body temperature or vitals because he's living in magma. It's too hot to test. Uh, and he is dormant just like the volcano he sleeps in. Rodan is sleeping with his wings wrapped around his body just like how the Showa Rodan used to sleep. And it is estimated that once he unravels those wings, they can create sonic thunderclaps capable of destroying entire cities. This would now give context to the Michael Doherty quote stating that Rodan will be an A-bomb with wings and in a lot of ways more powerful than Godzilla for that reason. Um, Rodan will also have volcanic rock-like skin that will help him to blend into rocky areas. If I had to guess, this will probably be used to his benefit uh, so he can camouflage during a big fight sequence in the movie. Bet you will get a good jump scare out of it too. <laughs> now from the first picture, we're going to break down the pictures really quick. Uh, you, I can't really tell what this picture says. There's some text in the bottom. Maybe it says something about emerging from fire. Can't really tell. Um, and then I think this this is a Samarin picture, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's really cool. I'm not big on the bird-esque design for Rodan's wings, uh, but I think this is a very stylized picture, so it doesn't necessarily represent what we're going to see in the movie 100%. But this also, by the way, doesn't look like the leaked picture of Rodan we got. Um, despite having similar wings, the rest of the body just doesn't look like Rodan, and the face doesn't either. So, oh, no, no, D-Man's not believing the leaks again? Oh, what a shock. Yeah, no, it doesn't prove anything. Okay, moving on. Lots of people have been spotting this Gigan-looking fella on each side of Rodan. <laughs> This could be a Gigan Easter Egg. Of course, we did see a Gigan Easter Egg and a whole bunch of other famous monster Easter Eggs in Pacific Rim Uprising, but most likely and definitely in canon, it's not Gigan. Or me are familiar faces. It's just an Apoklu. I'm not sure how to say that, but basically they're demigods for the Sumerian religion. What we learn about Rodan from the second picture, basically just that people feared Rodan. He killed a lot of people. That's all. Um, nothing special. Uh, people have been spotting something that looks like Ebra's claw in the background here. But to me, it just looks like a part of the picture's design. And also, this one looks more or less like the leaked Rodan we got, uh, but I still don't consider that leak to be real because this Rodan has huge spikes on his back, right? The other one doesn't. So, it just, it, the design isn't even consistent, plus although people really wanted to see me defeated, you know, they wanted to see me all sad and depressed, like making an apology video for making videos about the Rodan thing when I didn't think it was real. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I really don't care. I never did. I never really cared about that topic, as I've stated in all the videos I made about it. Um, I've said from the start, if that, that design winds up being the actual design, so be it. I don't really care, you know? I'm just not going to go around confirming things that don't have any real evidence to prove that they're legit. I'm not going to go around confirming every single thing I hear and hoping that something's got to land, right? Maybe if I just confirm everything, something will land. No, that's not what I'm going to do. So... I'm always going to remain skeptical, plus after Shin Godzilla days, you guys used to dupe me all the time, right? You guys used to tell me, oh no, Shin Godzilla's tadpole form, this is 100% it, and then I'd make a video on it only for the comments to be like, dude, you got to stop reading these comments because they're straight up lying to you. So, of course I'm not going to just believe everything you guys tell me um, or everything I come across because that hasn't worked out for me in the past. Uh, and I hope you guys can understand that sense of logic where I'm coming from with that decision on not confirming everything or remaining skeptical on everything. Um, but if you can't, I'm not going to sit here and uh, fight you on it. Uh, anyways, the third picture of Rodan teaches us that Rodan is alive in the volcano and he's being monitored from space. It actually teaches us nothing, because we already knew that based off the Monarch descriptions of Rodan, so... And also, I just want to end the video off by saying that Rodan is as big as a battleship. Battleship. Confirmed. <laughs> the link's in the description below to everything you guys have seen throughout this video. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoy. I'll see you guys next time for the Ghidorah video. D-Man, out.